Kurt Warner worked for uh, Westwood One, the radio call last night, of course, the uh, Hall of Fame quarterback. He joins us on the program. Kurt, thanks for getting up early. Uh, who was the big winner last night? <laughs> Uh, I think the fans, and especially fantasy football fans and the fans that, uh, that love to see a lot of scoring, um, they were the winners. Uh, you know, I think the NFL won with that game, and they got an exciting game. They got some young superstars that showed up and played well. Uh, the game really had everything, and um, you know, from the get-go, it was back and forth and up and down. So I think a lot of winners when it comes to, uh, to the league and the fans. It's a copycat league. We saw that when you guys gave us the greatest show on turf. Can you copy that? Like teams have tried to copy Golden State. It's not that easy. But, you know, the <laughs> offenses we have with the Saints and the Chiefs and the Rams are putting up record-setting numbers. Is this going to be something that everybody's going to try to do? Well, I, mean, I think everybody's going to try to do it. Um, you know, the, the differences with some of those teams is the way their quarterbacks are playing first and foremost. Do you have quarterbacks that can sling the ball down the field and be accurate and, and make those big time throws? Um, you know, that's what's different about those teams. I mean, you watch those two teams last night. I mean, they don't just throw these, you know, short dink and dunk throws. They will attack you down the field and they both got playmakers all over the place. So, uh, yeah, it sounds like, hey, well, let's just copy that and let's do that. But you have to have the right personnel as well. And both of those teams have, you know, talent across the board. They have speed and they've got quarterbacks that are accurate down the field. And I think that's where it all starts if you're going to play that brand of football. Was there one rule change that brought about this influx of offense? Um, you know, I don't know if there's just one. Um, you know, I think there's a couple things. I mean, first and foremost, you know, when you're, uh, you know, when you're getting a flag called on all of those, you know, bump and, you know, hand fighting, and they call it on the defense almost every time, I mean, that first and foremost makes it difficult on any throw down the field. Uh, offenses are going to take more shots because they're going to get more penalties. Uh, I think the defenseless receiver rule, we saw that last night on a quick slant. I mean, I thought it was a beautiful uh, defensive play, knocking the ball away from, I think it was Woods in that situation, but um, you know, I mean, defenders are sitting there going, I, I don't even know how to play when a, when a ball's thrown across the middle. I mean, a, a quarterback leads a receiver across the middle, and what you've always been taught to do is separate ball from man. Uh, and, and now if you do that, or if they don't catch the football, they're going to call defenseless receivers. I, I think there's all kinds of rules like that that, you know, really make a defense second guess. Um, and so when you got those penalties and you got defense second guessing, I mean, you saw it last night. I mean, it seemed to be guys wide open yeah. on nearly every single play. Um, but I think there's a number of rule changes we could go into being able to block at the line of scrimmage when teams are in man-to-man. Uh, so you set picks now, and, and receivers are blocking guys. They don't even have to pretend like they're running a route anymore. So I think there's a lot of rules that, uh, that play to the favor of the offenses being able to do what they do. Who would you rather have as your quarterback, Mahomes or Goff? Wow. Um Man, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to say. I mean, they're just a little bit different. I mean, I love what Jared Goff's doing from inside the pocket, and his ability to be accurate down the field I think is extremely rare. Uh, but I think what's going to make Patrick Mahomes so special is, is he can make those throws in the pocket, but he's got a little of that Aaron Rodgers ad lib, make the throws you know, off schedule and, and play more backyard football uh, than Jared, I think, can. So, I think in every scenario, you might uh, you might go with Patrick Mahomes over, over Jared. If I said you could pick one of these two teams or both these teams to play in the Super Bowl, not that that's the matchup you want to see, but what you saw based on what you saw last night, which team more likely to be in the Super Bowl? Wow. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's a great question. Uh, you know, I think they're so similar in that offensively they can do a lot of different things. Maybe uh, L.A. is a little more balanced, even though they weren't last night, but running the football. And then both of them can get after the quarterback up front. They're not, they haven't been great on the back end, so they're very similar. Um, yeah, that's, that's a great – I would love to see both these teams play. I mean, I would love to see a game like that again in the Super Bowl. Um, but I think the Saints are going to have something to say about that, and, and I wouldn't argue with that matchup, you know, Mahomes against Breeze either, because I think that would be phenomenal. Good to talk to you, Kurt. Safe travels home. Thanks for joining us. 
You bet. Talk to you soon. That's Kurt Warner, Westwood One radio analyst, NFL Network analyst, and, uh, of course, Hall of Famer on the call last night with Kevin Harlan and Ed Werder on Westwood One. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.